Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make these double spiral earrings. I'm going to use a bent nose and a standard chain nose pliers. You can also use two standard chain nose pliers or flat nose pliers. I'm also going to use two times three inches of red aluminum wire. I'm using 10 millimeter jump rings, eight silver and eight red. I use a 14 gauge wire to make the silver ones and a 12 gauge wire to make the red ones. I've linked the tutorial in the description box. I'm going to use these two beads and you can use what you prefer. It does not have to be the same. You will also need a pair of air wires. I've linked a tutorial for this in the description box. Just be sure to make the loops for the air wires large enough so that the jump rings can fit through. You will also need a flush cutter and a row nose pliers. I'm going to connect two silver jump rings to a paper clip. If you don't have a paper clip, you can use a piece of wire instead. So here I add the first one, then close. And I'm going to add the other. Next, we're going to connect two red jump rings to the silver jump rings and close that one. So I'm just going to add the other and close. At this point, your silver jump rings should be laying flat and the red jump rings pointing up, as you can see right here. I'm going to push the red jump rings to the left side of the silver jump rings and as you can see here there's now a gap between the red and the silver jump rings i'm going to add a silver jump ring through all four jump rings and close it we're going to add the second jump ring and as you can see, the first one is now towards the bottom. So we're going to close that one. We're going to take the silver jump rings and place them next to the red ones. Now that you've done that, you'll notice that there is a space between the jump rings. We're going to add a red jump ring through all four. We're going to add another ring to that and close it. So you place the red jump rings next to the silver ones and if that gap is not as big then you can use your pliers to open it or you can use something else to open it add another silver jump ring then close that and i'm just going to go ahead and add the other silver jump ring and close it as well So you place them next to the red jump rings and you'll see another gap and we're going to take a ring through all four jump rings and close that. We're going to add another jump ring just the same.
you'll need to make two of these. We're going to move on to the wire loop and I'm using the chain nose pliers to bend the wire like that. I'm going to place it between the jaws of the pliers and then squeeze it down. We're going to use our flush cutter to get rid of the excess wire. You place your bead onto the wire and this is going to take the place of an end pin. And I'm going to use my thumb to bend the wire at a 90 degree angle. To make the loop, place the wire between the barrels of the pliers. Then take the wire over the top barrel and adjust your pliers as you go along. Then take the wire to the other side and adjust your pliers as you go along. Insert the pliers back into the loop, then roll your dominant hand towards you to center the loop. We're going to place our flush cutter right next to the loop and then cut the excess wire. And you'll need to make the other one just the same. Now we're going to connect the pieces together and we're going to grab our chain nose pliers and use it to open the loop then connect it to the bottom and use it to close the loop. Then remove the paper clip and connect the air wire. So you'll need to do the other airing just the same so you can have a pair. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.